Hey everyone, this is Ryan Jeske with the Prescott Caliber Club. If you've been following us for any length of time, you know we are a huge fan of the breech pen. We've been dealing these things for a few years. If you're unfamiliar with what these are, they are thermal breaching tools that can be carried on a plate carrier, in a backpack, in a pack, in a uh, get home bag, something along those lines. Well, today I'm going to cover a little bit on the breech pens, but I'm also going to go into a few new products that these guys have that I think you guys are going to love. Let's get to it. video, like I said, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the company Breach Pen and some of their products. For those of you who are um, new to the channel or who haven't been following or maybe missed our older video, which I'll leave right up here, you can check that out. We've been a Breach Pen dealer for a number of years. We got into this very early. We've even taught some certification courses and things like that regarding the Breach Pen. And in today's video, we're going to cover a couple of their products, including their original Breach Pen LTE, which is the quote unquote training model. That model is not any less effective than their full Gen 2 full size model. Um, the only difference is the burn time is a little bit shorter. They're a little bit cheaper, so they're really good for practice, learning all of those types of things. We're also going to talk about some of the products that we have in here from Blaze Defense through Breach Pen. These are their fire suppression units, the uh, Breach Pen, Thermite Matches, which are absolutely just unbelievably cool these things are so awesome and what really is is what i think you guys are going to like the most here is going to be the way that some of these things can and will attach to something like a plate carrier so let's go ahead and get right into the video so the very first thing i wanted to talk to you guys about was the original breech pen these are the breech pen ltes and now how these things work is you pull them out of the case they have a little bit of protective material in there. You turn them around, and in this side, you have your match where you can strike right on the face here, and then you go ahead and you light your pen, and you have about 30 seconds of cutting power. You can cut through chains, door stops, um, any, any kind of metal, really. I mean, of course, you know, a one-inch plate is going to be a little tough, but getting through chains, locks, those types of things, this is awesome. Now, the difference between their LTE training model and the full breech pen, aside from the price, is really the length of the burn. In the length of the burn, you can just simply tell here, it's just a longer version of the original pen. So if you guys are starting to do some training with the breech pen, I would highly recommend you pick up some of the LTE models just to save a little bit of money. That will also give you a good way to practice and get very effective within a 30 second time frame when as you go to use the, the pro model the full gen 2 model you have more burn time so you will be even more effective with that now the thing that i found really really cool about breech pen was they started to come out with some kits and these kits are set up for molly webbing so you can actually run your molly webbing through here and you can attach them say onto a plate carrier um onto any of those bags and backpacks that have that in and these kits are really cool because they give you they offer you a little bit of extra savings over just simply buying the products alone now this is basically a starter kit so this one comes with two breech pen LTEs the training models again they can be used just like a regular breech pen you just have a shorter burn time and then you've got your Broco Jimmy that comes with it and your extremely high quality very well made pack that will clip onto your carriers. One thing that a lot of people have had concerns about when it comes to breech pen is really the pricing. They take a look at these and these things are not cheap. This isn't a, a $19.99 product. This thing is around $70 or so. And of course, the bigger models are even more. So why would you ever consider spending $70 to have one of these on your kit when you could just have a bolt cutter? You're Absolutely correct. I'm not going to argue with that point. The point of these products is not that you're carrying them around and cutting everything with them. The point of these products is that you have them set up for you in an emergency where you're out in the field and all of a sudden you come up, you're hiking, you're walking, you're hunting, and you get to somewhere where you can't access and you need to get through it. Somebody's injured or whatever and you need to get them out of there. You're able to cut fences, locks, chains, all of those things without having to carry a big bolt cutters on your back or something along those lines. So many people who are concerned with the pricing on these products, 
the real issue isn't the pricing, it's that you're kind of looking at it wrong. A grinder is going to be, an angle grinder is going to be a way more effective cutting tool than one of these. You're going to be able to use it over and over. It's powered, it's quick, it's fast, all of those things. But how many of you are carrying a grinder around in your bug out bag or whatever you're carrying this stuff in? So you need to understand that these are not really designed for everyday cutting purposes or anything like that. These things are really designed for emergency use when you're in the backwoods. I keep thinking about like the BLM guys out here in Arizona who are maybe trying to go, there's smoke over here and they're in their truck out in the middle of nowhere and they need to get out to this place to verify whether or not a wildfire is starting and so what they end up doing is having to cut through a gate to get to it to check it. Well, if they don't have the proper tools, they're going to be in big trouble. If you have a couple of these just sitting in your truck when you run into an emergency situation like that, you're going to be good to go. You're going to be able to cut that lock, get through it, breach, and go in. These things have also been used by the military. They have been used in a way where, um, let's say, disabling engines, engine blocks, things like that, going out and um, cutting doors to get in for you know guys to actually go into the house and do their work and things like that. So... That's what's really cool about these products is, yes, they're expensive, but they are top notch, they're top tier, the company is amazing, they're producing great products, they're quick and easy to carry on you, they're light, they fit in backpacks, glove boxes, purses, all of those types of things. But what's the very first thing you start to think of when you're talking about cutting? If any of you guys are, you know, welders or you work in machine shops or any of that, you know how dangerous hot metal is that will easily start fires. So Breach Pen kind of made the decision to team up with Blaze Defense and they're gonna be, um, well, they are offering a bunch of these fire suppression units and they come in all different sizes. They have different kits. This larger one here, this is the uh, Mark 20 with the finger loop. So you're able to grab here, boom, and use it. One of their most popular is the Mark V. Their Mark V unit is, is really, really cool. It's, you know, hand size finger loop, but it works very well. They also have a smaller unit that I think people could really, really uh, benefit from. This could fit in a purse. This could easily just be carried around any time. Now, Breach Pen has also set these guys up with a bunch of plate carrier setups. So you could essentially have your Mark V fire suppression. You could essentially have your Mark V fire suppression unit here. Have this on your plate carrier right over here with your pack of breech pens, you know, off on the back or something like that. And you're now walking around with uh, fire suppression, breaching tools, and all of that right on your plate carrier. They're really, really, really cool. Now guys, as you can see here on the back of the Mark V suppression kit, you've got these heavy duty, um, they're almost plastic, but they are extremely heavy duty, like they'd be hard to cut with a pair of scissors. These are actually set up for your molly webbing on your plate carrier. So these things feed through the, through the first web on the carrier, they come back, feed through itself, and back through the carrier, and back through itself all the way down, and it leaves you with a really rock solid, you know, mount on your plate carrier like this. So that's, that's essentially how all of their kits are going to attach. But I did want to point out as well that you can get these kits. Again, this is the, the starter kit. And they come with, um, you know, loops that you can wear. So you could have this just kind of under the seat of your truck. And if you need it, pull it out, throw it over your shoulder and run to where you're going. So a lot of the kits will come with over the shoulder straps. The smaller kits, of course, don't. But some of these bigger ones do. And they offer some really, really amazing kits through um, from Breach Pen. You know, these guys have thought just about about everything so that's another really great point and great feature these things are molly web adaptable for plate carriers backpacks and all of that and you could just sling them over your back throw them or you can just have your kit like this and throw it right into your bag it's pretty darn cool if you ask me one thing i wanted to talk about i'm going to check the weight just so you guys can kind of get a feel of how much these weigh and this first uh the starter kit which is two breech pens and the broco jimmy this thing weighs one pound 12 ounces so I also wanted to weigh each individual pen. The standard LTE pen is seven ounces, while the longer Gen 2 pen is 
eight and a half ounces. They do make carriers just individually for these products. So if you just wanted to carry one of these on your vest, there's a, a design for that. And you're only talking about maybe 10 ounces of weight added to your plate carrier and you have an actual cutting breaching tool. Now, each of their fire suppression units, the Mark 20 weighs one, point, uh, one pound, five ounces. The Mark 5 suppression unit weighs in at eight and a half ounces. And the smaller, uh, what was this one? This is the Mark IV aerosol. This one weighs five ounces flat. So you can see these things are not very heavy and they are intended to be carried in purses, bags, um, really simple, easy places where these are more accessible to more people. Now, if you live in a place like we do in Arizona where there's wildfires and all this stuff, something like this in your car absolutely could save a huge wildfire if say you see one you know, starting to go on the side of the road or um, something along those lines. So highly, highly recommend these products. Um, and then another one that I wanted to mention was their breech pen thermite matches. We kind of talked about these a little bit, but these things are extremely cool. They are hot, hot burning. These things burn crazy hot and they are really the only way that you are able to start your breech pen. If you try to start that breech pen, even with a lighter or something along those lines, you're not gonna be able to get that thing going. So you really need these matches. But what I found is these matches are a really great option for people who are maybe into emergency preparedness, camping, things like that, where you wanna have a couple matches that these things are gonna burn for you know a few seconds. It's not gonna be a quick little flash burn or anything. You're gonna have this thing burning for a while. You need to get something wet started that type of stuff, these matches are great. Now we offer a whole bunch of these products over at the Prescott Caliber Club on our website. You're welcome to check out what we have. If you need anything, I have good relationship with them. I can always order more in for you and, and do that kind of stuff. But for now, what I wanted to do was kind of head out into the prairie. I wanted to show you a little bit about how these fire suppression units work, especially. We'll do a little bit of cutting with each of the cutting tools so you can see how long these things burn for because I think you guys are really gonna be impressed with what this is. Now I wanted to just revisit and reiterate one more time. Yes, the pens themselves are a bit expensive, but like I said, they are not intended for you to be um, using on a daily basis or anything like that. So they do have a couple starter kits, starter packs, where you get a couple pens, you get one of the LTE pens and things like that. I'll do some layovers from Breach Pens website so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about here. The other thing that they have is a uh, their FRBK, which is their first responders breaching kit. That thing is super cool. It has some of the Gen 2 model pens in it. It has breaching tools. It has uh, Mark V fire suppression. It's a really, really nice kit for a decent price. So for me to you, I would recommend picking up a couple of the LTE models so you can practice with them, two or three of those, and then getting yourself a couple of the longer, bigger ones, the Gen 2 models, so that you can actually have a little bit extra burn time if you ever need this in a real world application. So guys, let's head out into the prairie where I'll show you a bunch of, about how these things work. All right, guys, so we made it out to the prairie, and what we're going to be doing here today is cutting a couple of chains, and I'm going to demonstrate to you the difference between the uh, LTE and the Gen 2 model as far as the burn time goes. And I wanted to show you a couple things. First of all, with the chain, um, when you're looking at a chain or really any object that you're trying to cut, you need to be aware that there's going to be some slag dropping and stuff like that. So you don't necessarily want to cut it from the top where the slag is going to drop through onto the bottom ring and then cut. You're going to want to cut through the two side rings to keep it a little easier. So you can cut through one, move right over, cut through the other and break the chain. Now, when I get done cutting, I'm going to actually hold the stick up. I'm going to let it burn out so that we can do a time comparison on the two as well. Um, but let's go ahead and talk about how to use the product. Of course, first of all, you're going to take the actual cutting rod. That's this product. This is this piece right here. You're going to take that out. You can see this is where you strike with the match. You're going to turn it around and you're going to put it into the pen this, this way. So you're actually going to be holding this literally like a pen. Second, you take your match out. You're going to strike it nose down and you're going to use this match to light the end of the stick and that's how you get this thing burning good. 
Now, it's highly recommended, and actually, I would not do it without some actual welding type glasses, some real heavy stuff. Sunglasses aren't quite enough, and welding gloves as well. But let's go ahead and test this out with one of the LTE models. Now, what I've done over here with the chain is I've actually put a piece of metal on it so that I can pull this thing out and I can cut here for you guys just to allow me to not have to use such a big length of chain and stuff like that. So um, let me go ahead. I'm going to strike this, get it going, and then we'll go ahead and cut the chain. I'll start the timer as soon as this thing touches and gets going. That is just the thermite match going here. There, now my pen is going, you can see. I'm going to hold my chain out, get a good grip on it, get it steady, and I'm going to use this just like a pen. I'm just about through one side. I'm moving over to the other. And there we go. And my training model pen is just burning out now, the final steps. And I was able to completely break that chain with one of the LTE training models. Now, of course, we're going to do something. Make sure we don't get a fire going here. There we go, get that put out. I grab some water quick. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see my feet from here, but that is bubbly. That is extremely, extremely hot. But you can see here, we've got the link completely cut. And again, that was the shorter LTE model that we used. And what we're gonna compare now is the longer burn time, which is their uh, Gen 2 model. And we're gonna go ahead and cut one more length of chain, and then we'll be able to time the difference between the two. Now, as that thing sizzles out, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare this and get it ready to go. And then we're gonna go ahead and step back and we'll do a little bit of um, filming on the actual fire suppression devices. If we start a fire, maybe we could actually use one for real, but let's try not to do that. So let me go ahead. Once again, you've got your breech pen. And remember, this stuff going to fly out. I'm going to try not to lose it. It's still inside. Now, this is a bit longer than the first one. You once again have your match. Now, I would like to see breech pen actually offer a much better uh, package, maybe where each of these have two matches, or whenever you buy breech pens, you get to get yourself an additional set of matches or something like that, because the very first time I tried to strike one of these today, my match kind of went a little hanky and I lost it. And so it is possible for you to have one of these, your match not light it, and then technically you really won't have much of a way to ignite the, you know, the breech pen. But let's go ahead and try to get this one going again. Again, grab it, firm grip, point it down, strike your match. We've now got our thermite match going. Use that firmly against the pen. Okay, our pen is now going. This is the LT, or this is the Gen 2. This is the bigger one. Let's try it to burn myself again. Woo. Right here. Use it just like a pen, pressing down and cutting. Oh shit, and I dropped my hand. Get her pulled back on, see if we can get through one side at least. All right, I'm through one side of the length, moving over to the other. I may not cut this one all the way through after I dropped it, but it's close, it's close. We would be able to break that. We would still be able to break that. Chain comes off, that's the full burn time, and that was with a mistake, and that is exactly why these Gen 2 professional models are used. Let me get this fire out before we have a major problem here out in the desert. But you guys can see why you would want to have a little bit, little bit of additional burn time. I've been trained with these. I know how to use them. And even I can make a mistake like that. What I did was I pressed a little too hard. I didn't have my grip all the way forward and I pressed a little hard and it popped out of the container and that's what fell on the ground. But I was still able to completely cut and get my chain broken even with a mistake. Now we'll take a look at how long the burn times were on both of those. Check it out. 
see what it was. But the next thing I want to show you guys is how to um, use their fire suppression units. I want to show you exactly kind of how far they shoot, what the streams look like, how long they last, and those types of things so you can make a good decision on what products are best for you. This is the Mark IV suppression. This has a little finger protector so you can't press on the top. You open the top up this way. Put your finger in there and you're going to spray. Now this is great for purses, for um, throwing in a glove compartment or a glove box or something like that. But of course, this thing is not meant for a huge fire. This is for real quick and fast. But what I want to do is I'm going to deploy this. It's going to be a little hard for you to even see the depth perception on camera. So I'm going to have to explain to you. I'll pace it off and I'll tell you exactly how far these things shot. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shoot this thing. I want you guys to see the stream. So I'm going to shoot it sideways like this. So you can kind of see what it's doing, how it's going. And then I'm going to range it out and I'll kind of do that and pace it out and we'll figure out how far it goes. So again, Mark IV, lift the top up. You go right in here and you shoot it almost like a mace can, right? So you're sitting here. Now, as I turn, that's all you've got for fire suppression. But I had a little fire going. I had that slag pile going right there and I was able to completely soak it. Now you can see that's not a lot, right? That is not very much. So something like this may only really be great for, you know, it says do not use on electrical fires, meaning something that's going to continuously cause a situation after you've already hit it with the stuff. If you've got a small candle tipped over and a little fire going, that is that is essentially the purse pocket model. So guys, I paced that off on the range and it was four meters is what I was able to step. So that's roughly 12 feet that you're able to shoot with the Mark IV unit. Now we're going to step it up to their most popular model. This is the Mark V and this thing is significantly bigger, but let's go ahead and check the burn time. This one has, as you can see right here on top, it has a safety piece. You're going to pull that out and now you have a finger loop and you just press down here. So let's go ahead and check out what the stream looks like on this. I'm going to go ahead and shoot. You'll see we'll start timing again. And then I'm going to range it and see how far this thing actually shoots. So this again, the Mark V with the finger loop. And that is much more powerful. The range on it was definitely probably, well, let me pace it off for you. That one was much further. That was roughly 21 feet that that sprayed. I, you could clearly tell that I was able to hold that on my little my little smoldering pit over there for a lot longer. But as far as timing, that thing ran quite a bit longer. It shot quite a bit further. It had a lot more pressure and could definitely put something out pretty quick. Now I want to move you up to the Mark 20, which is the bigger model. I want to mention one other thing because I know YouTube and I know how this is going to work. People are going to see some of these are going to say, that's all that that thing sprays. You got two, three seconds of spray time, six seconds of spray time, stuff like that. You need to understand that that is just a direct, full, wide open spray of this can to demonstrate how much difference is between the cans. But in reality, when you're putting out a fire, you're not going to go directly on it and just hit the thing and sit there until your can is empty. You're going to spray and go over it and spray and spray and you're going to be letting off. So it, it's not exactly a good demonstration to show you for the effectiveness of putting out a fire. If you guys want to subscribe to my channel, I think that's a good way for you to follow me because at some point we will do a test on that and we will maybe start a couple little fires and see how big a fire we can put out with each one of these. But I just wanted to make that point that just because something sprayed for two or three seconds, that doesn't mean that um, it's not effective. It just means that you need to know how to use it and you need to know that you only have a couple seconds of spray time in that little can, for example. Now here we are with the Blaze Defense uh, Mark 20. This is exactly the same as the Mark V. The setup on the top here is your pulling this out and you now have the finger loop with the sprayer. But let's back up because I feel like this one's gonna spray quite a bit longer, harder, but let's try it out. Again, I'm hitting my smoldering pit. I'm raising it out to see how far it goes and then I'm just holding it till it empties so we can check out how long these things spray. So let's do it. Immediately. Immediately, I can tell that this one sprays a lot thicker, heavier foam, so there's a lot more coming out. And look at how long that's spraying. The range, though, was almost exactly the same as the Mark V, so I'm going to call it at about 20 feet. Might have even been a little bit shorter, but it did seem like the stream was a lot thicker, heavier, um, foamier, a lot better. So, depending on your need, of course, the Mark IV, very teeny tiny, you could see extremely short spray time. The Mark V, I think, is a good unit because it does have, you know, a decent amount of spray. But if you're going to carry something seriously, 
I would consider the Mark 20, but then again, that's just me. So guys, let's head back in to the office and we'll finish out this video. If there's anything else that you wanna see me review, I'm just trying to kind of highlight some of these products bring them to your attention, show them to you, but I know there's a bunch of details that you guys are probably wondering about that you'd like to see, that you'd like to maybe have me, you know, break down further or really get into depth on, and I'm happy to do that, but I need you guys to jump down in the comment section and leave me a comment. Let me know exactly what products you're wanting to see because that truly will help me form my plans for videos in the future here because it is really hard to know exactly what you guys are looking for. Sometimes I'll spend 10, 15 minutes reviewing a simple little product like this, and I'll get guys who are extremely bored because they wanted to see what else was available. Or I'll do a video like I'm doing here today where I'm showing everything kind of quickly, highlighting it all, and somebody will say, well, how much did that and that weigh together? Or, you know, random questions. So please, jump down below, leave me a comment. I do read them, I check them, and I am happy to add you know, different reviews based on your feedback. So let me know what it is you guys would like to see. So now you've been out in the prairie, you've checked these things out and you see how they work. You've been able to see the difference between their LTE model and their Gen 2 model, the burn time difference of what these things are kind of capable of doing and cutting. You've seen exactly how their fire defense systems work and what the spray and stream looks like on these things. And um, you kind of have a better idea of maybe which product it is that you would like to carry. So if you guys are interested in any of these products, like I said earlier, please head on over to our website at prescottcalclub.com. We carry all of these products. If there's anything from Breach Pen or from their offerings that I don't have in stock, we do sell out on a lot of this stuff fairly quick, just shoot me an email. There's also a, uh, uh, an app within our website, a little function where you can jump on and you can chat directly with me or uh, one of my guys and we'll help, we're just more than happy to get you set up with these products. Additionally, if you're enjoying the content here, please jump in the description section down below where there's a bunch of ways that you could save some money while helping support us, but don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like our videos, share them to your social media pages, all of these things will help us get a lot more traction, and it will help keep you up to date on everything we have going on right here at the Prescott Caliber Club. So guys, I don't have a whole lot more for you today. I just hope that each and every one of you stay safe. And as always, don't forget to keep running.